today's fresh manna. Grace to glory, the serving grace. 2 Corinthians 8 1, 2 Moreover, brethren, we do you to wit of the grace of God bestowed on the churches of Macedonia, how that in a great trial of affliction the abundance of their joy and their deep poverty abounded unto the riches of their liberality. So you are saved and sanctified and strengthened by God's grace, then what next? Many are enjoying the fruits of salvation and being comforted in their trials and struggles in daily life. What should be the outcome of these graces in a believer's life? Here is the kind of grace that flows out of a believer's life to bless others. This is the grace of giving giving our energies, talents, treasures, time and all the spiritual gifts God has given us to minister to others. The believers in Macedonia overflowed with this kind of grace in the midst of extreme poverty they exercised liberality and gave generously to the Lord and His work. How can this be possible? People usually think or expect to give when they have much. Here are poor people living in poverty, yet they gave not only wholeheartedly but generously, freely, without withholding anything from them. This is similar to what the poor widow gave two coins and which the Lord said was more than all other rich people gave at the temple. There are so many ways God's grace flows out of our lives if we are willing and allow it to happen. In Ephesians 4:29, we are exhorted to make our communication slash conversation edifying to others so we may minister grace to the hearers, to build up their lives. Ephesians 3 7, 8, we are gifted to serve by His power. 1 Peter 4:11. Minister God's grace through the gifts of the Spirit so that God is glorified. God has chosen us, saved us, sanctified us so that we may be vessels of His grace to serve and bless others for His glory. Amen. 2 Thessalonians 2:13,14. But we are bound to give thanks always to God for you, brethren beloved of the Lord, because God hath from the beginning chosen you to salvation through sanctification of the Spirit and belief of the truth, whereunto He called you by our Gospel, to the obtaining of the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. How are you allowing serving grace to flow to others? Be challenged. Aothniel. October 6, 2023. God bless you.